Hello there SpyBot users and welcome to the Safer Networking YouTube channel. My name is Rob from Team SpyBot and I'm here today to bring you another video in our new series of SpyBot tutorials and instructional videos. Today's video will be upgrading SpyBot 2.4 to SpyBot 2.5 for Windows 10 users. So welcome to today's video on upgrading SpyBot 2.4 to SpyBot 2.5 for Windows 10 users. I'm set up on a Win 10 64-bit virtual machine running in VirtualBox. So let's get started with today's tutorial. The first step is to open the SpyBot Start Center. To do this, right click on the SpyBot Start Center desktop icon and click Run as Administrator to run SpyBot with administrator privileges. You will then see a prompt from the user account control asking you whether or not you would like to start the SpyBot Start Center to which we will click Yes. Since this is the first time opening the SpyBot Start Center, we are greeted with a Start Center message asking us, do you need help? SpyBot can show you informational and confirming dialogues which offer details and background. Do you want SpyBot to show these dialogues? You can change your decision at any time using SpyBot settings. We will click Yes. We are also then asked if we would like to create a whitelist. Whitelist files to speed up scanning. Do you want to speed up your system scan by whitelisting all files? This should only be done if you have a new Windows setup and have not yet connected to the internet. For now we are going to click cancel, but we will look at creating whitelists in another video. I will maximize the start center to give us a better view. And you can see in the top right hand corner in the status area that it says no update attempt registered. The first step in upgrading SpyBot 2.4 to 2.5 is to download SpyBot updates. The SpyBot updates contain the post Windows 10 install.exe file which allows you to update SpyBot 2.4 to 2.5. So if we double click on the area that says no update attempt registered, or by double clicking on update in the basic tools section, this will open up the SpyBot update window. We can then maximize the update window to give us a better view. And we see the update status check, which says last update, your computer has no signatures installed yet. Status check complete, there are updates available. So we'll click on update. We now see that the SpyBot updater is checking for anti-spyware updates, which will download all the latest malware and anti-spyware database signatures, as well as any other important update files that SpyBot needs. As we can see, it appears that the update has stalled on this file, the SpyBot 2 Windows Upgrade Installer.exe file. So at any time, if the update does happen to stall, you can simply close the update window, open up the update window again, maximize the screen again to give us a better view. We see that the updater is still stuck on this particular file. But in a few seconds, once the status check is complete, the update button should become visible again. And if we then click on the update button again, the updater should successfully download and install the file and the update should progress as expected. As we can see the file has been successfully downloaded and the updater continues to download and install any other required files.
We can now see that the update is completed successfully and it is now testing all of the files that have been downloaded and installed. And if you want to check that all files have been downloaded successfully, we can click the update button again and the updater should run a quick status check. We can now see in the top left hand corner of the start center that it says this software is up to date. We now see if we minimize the start center that the post win10 spybot install.exe file has appeared on your desktop. This is the file that we are going to use which will enable us to download the spybot 2.5 installer. So double click on the post win10 spybot install.exe file which will allow us to download and install spybot 2.5. We see a prompt from the user account control asking us whether or not we would like to run the post windows 10 upgrade reinstaller for spybot search and destroy to which we will click yes to launch the installer. Welcome to the Spybot reinstallation. This will reinstall the latest Spybot on your computer after a Windows 10 upgrade has removed it. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup. So we will click next to continue with the installation. So we can see the file is now downloading the Spybot 2.543 exe file and the download should be completed within a few seconds. Now that the file has downloaded, the wizard is closing any Spybot applications that are currently running so that it can proceed with the installation of Spybot 2.5. As you can see it appears now that my desktop has turned to black, but it should return to normal once the installation of Spybot 2.5 is complete. System services are currently being installed. We now see that the installer is finished. Now when we reopen the Spybot Start Center, we can see that it says Spybot 2.5 in the upper left hand corner. After you have installed Spybot 2.5, you can then delete the post Windows 10 install.exe file from your desktop. So that's it for today's video on Upgrading Spybot 2.4 to Spybot 2.5 for Windows 10 users. So thanks very much for watching and we hope that you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please like, share and subscribe or leave a comment in the comment section below. Or you can get in touch with us by sending an email to teamspybot at spybot.info or by using the request support page on the support center on our website. So thanks again for watching. I've been Rob from Team Spybot. Stay safe. Keep on searching. Keep on destroying. See you guys soon.